Hello and welcome everyone. In today's video, I have made another exercise on LabVIEW uh, about hotel food ordering system simulation in LabVIEW. So I will discuss about how it works. It is general idea that we can just simulate it in LabVIEW, but just to sh make an exercise on LabVIEW and learn LabVIEW a little bit more. So I will run the program and show you how it works basically. So if I run my program, here are the prices of the item number one. I have just decided how many items are there. There are almost 10 items in here and each item can be represented by a food or something like that. So for example, at the item one number one is price of 100 and similarly the item number two is 150 and uh, even the price of another uh, item can be the same. But here I have just changed the price of every item just for just showing purposes. So let's just say if I just order this one, this is the price and I can even change its quantity like how many number of items so if I increase its quantity it's true but the total bill is now 300 and similarly if I can press on item number 8 it is added to the 750 and uh, if I just increase its quantity now the total bill is increased to 1152 and it is shown that 4% discount is just added to it and then it become 1152 we can also show the total amount subtraction and then the subtracted 4% discount and then the total amount but here is the total amount I have shown by just after discount uh, by detecting the discount from it. Similarly I can just add another one and I can increase its quantity and then it increase. So now uh, that bill has increased to 2000. Uh, rupees or bill whatsoever and it is now the total is 8% discount similarly I can just add a few more items in it and let's see so now uh, there are 13% discount in total and now if I just press and uh, say the order is received uh, I have seen that the countdown is just started so whenever the countdown is uh, just started it means that your order is confirmed and received and you have just paid the bill and now it is this much time that it will be prepared uh, for you and you can even just receive it by using by doing whatsoever or just dine in or just let it go so how to make this simulation in lab view so now i will open just a new vi uh, open it on the front panel and here i will place uh, an LED, a square LED in here that will represent my item number. Let's just say that the first item is item number one, and uh, similarly, I have to show the quantity. So I will um, uh, place a numeric control in here that I will increase its size to 36, and then I will just increase it in here and make the size a uh, little bit less and then I can write here quantity so uh, here I have the quantity and now the next thing is the price so now I will use a numeric indicator in here and again I will select the size its size should be 36 so that it will uh, require more space that will be equal to the item number so now I'll set the price in here as an indicator in here now I will just uh, go to the LED properties and show boolean text in here so if uh, it is turned off we can just change it color to uh, green and if it is just uh, uh, when it is turned on its color will be changed when it is turned on we can say that press to um, cancel press to cancel and uh, cancel item and here on the off text we can write that press to order so we have two buttons right uh, two uh, stages right now of the led if we press it it says that press to cancel item and if we just not spec then it says as press to order so now i will just go on to to my block diagram and then 
what I will do is I will just connect it here I will change it to control oh sorry I will change it to control and then what I will do is I will multiply the quantity with something and then I will multiply that with Uh, we cannot just directly multiply the LED with the quantity so what we will do is we will use another function named as boolean 0 to 1 function and here I will connect it with the quantity and finally the output will be multiplied again I can make it copy and I can multiply that with the price so instead of price I can just multiply that um, I can create a constant in here so here let's just say that the price for the first item is 5 so I can multiply that the price with this one and now I have uh, ready for the one item price and everything else so now if I run my program it shows that the price is 5 and if the quantity is just increased and the uh, price is just the 5 remains same but it will be sh it should be shown in the output so the quantity should start from 1 instead of 0 so we will just go to its properties and set the quantity uh, length like display or the data entry and instead of use default limits I will just disable this and the minimum will be 1 and the maximum will be let's just say 10 so one person can add up to 10 maximum items in this tag list and similarly the increment should be one or something so if I just press one now it is one three four and I can even just go to properties again and set the increment as one so that no one can enter 1.1 or something like that now we cannot even go to 0 and not even go to greater than 10 so that will be the, its limit so now we will go on to our block diagram again um, press the clear item button and then we will make the copy of it so that we will have at least uh, 5 number of items in here just to show in this program in here and then again we have Here we have item number 4 and here we have item number 5 so I can again change the numbers like item number 2 item number 3 and item number 4 so now here we have I can just make it um, place the items right behind beneath of it so that it will look more proper so here in this simulation work i will just use only five items so that i will just show how it works so that if you try to make it yourself then you can make it easily i will just show four items in here or let's say five because i think that yes there is five items in here so here are the total five items and then we will change it's as well so now what the next thing is we want to add all of their prices so what we can do is we will use addition function as compound arithmetic so that we can uh, add all of these items uh, in a single go so add it just here and then add it here and then add this one and add this one in here so I have just added all of these so I will now get the total amount as well so I can just show an indicator as a result that whether I am getting the total price or not so for that purpose I'll just replace it with something looking more uh, proper or good let's just say a result and instead of result I can show that total bill 
so here we have a total bill and uh, if I just oops I have just changed it to uh, string indicator instead of string I have have to show it as a numeric so now it is uh, looking good and now I can even change its size let's just say its size is 36 we can even change the price of each item let's just say that the next price is 10 and the next price is 15 and the next price is 20 and here we have a next price is 25 so now if I just uh, press to few items and increase their quantity and then just run the total bill will be shown in here as a 70 so how the we can make the discount offers like well, if I just run the program and uh, I will select the bill then how much it will be the total amount and then it will show me the um, discounted uh, offer so here we can use a case selector for that purpose I think so I can just make the condition that if it goes uh, something greater than something uh, like if the total amount goes greater than uh, let's just say right now 50 and then the next condition is if it goes greater than 100 and then the last thing is if it goes greater than 150 so I have set the three conditions to show how many discount we can offer so if let's just say make it 200 so now I want to show that how much discount we can offer so this will basically show me the I want to change it to uh, connect it to the case structure basically so if I just uh, connect it uh, with the case structure I want to define the cases like the 50 uh, here if it is false then it is 0 and if it is true then the case will be the 1 and similarly I will choose this case as well if it is true then the case will be the 2 and in the false condition this value will be added as a false and again make a condition in here connect that in here and then make again a constant in here that will be the case 3 in the case in the condition of if it is greater than 200 then it is true then the case will be the 3 and uh, if not and in the condition of false we have 3 in here so i'll just connect the output of the, my third case selector to my case structure so it will automatically connect it to 0 1 and we can add cases after it so it will be the 2 and add the cases after so we will have three uh, four cases basically so in case of 0 we didn't have any discount so we'll let it pass through it to the total bill so i can just delete this wire in here and uh, connect that connect the output directly to my total bill and in the case of uh, uh, first that we have uh, we can offer a discount of 5% so how do we can offer a discount of 5% we can multiply that with 0 point total amount with 0 point um, we can multiply the total amount instead of just letting go we have to just pass this amount to if I go back then I can just select that in here and now if uh, for the case one I can just multiply that with how many percentage I can just show that as uh, visible items uh, label or instead of label I will go to its description oops not in description I will just go to its visible item sub label yes it is uh, let's just say 5% discount so to how to make a 5% discount with it we will multiply that with create a constant and 0 0.05 to the total amount and subtract that amount uh, from the total ones 
so here is the subtracted amount and here is what we have the original ones so total minus discounted offer will be connected to the total bill and similarly we can just make a copy of it of this thing and place that in here and then we can just make a copy and place that in here so to boost up our uh, capabilities of developing something so remove the broken wires and here as it is let's just say it is sound percent and in the sound percent we have uh, 0 0.07 multiplied with it and then connected that with the total bill and in the last thing we have let's just say 10 percent discount so in the case of 10 percent discount we have we can connect that with the total bill and here for the one percent discount we can say that it is 0 0.1 multiplied with this so we have now a total bill will be calculated accordingly so here i can make uh, another thing like how many dis how much discount I have just offered by using a string indicator in here So this string indicator will, be sh will show me how much discount that I have offered So in the case of create a constant in the case, third case I have just to show you how I can just show the discount in here I will place that in here 10% create a constant uh, let it um, be as nothing and uh, in this case I will show as 5% discount create a um, place that in here and similarly create a constant 7% and place that in here so that it will also show how much discount you have just offered so now in the end we have a final button that will tell me that I have just buttons I can just use a confirmation button as whatsoever I can choose this one so that it will show me that order is just confirmed in this case not confirmed pay bill and confirm and in the case of multiple text buttons multiple strings in the case of it is not confirmed and when it is turned on it is confirmed so that's how it will work and now the final thing is we should enclose that within a loop so it is while looping here and we can connect our pay and final bill with this one so that that will be the closed loop and enclose that all of the thing within one structure named as flat sequence we can add another uh, frame like this one so that when the loop will be stopped we will start another loop that will show us a countdown so as a while loop in here this will show me when to stop this loop so I can use a constant in here like this one so right here let's just say we are encountering with the 30 seconds so I will use a subtractive function in here uh, connect it with this one and the iteration terminal with here so that 30 minus it will be the like the countdown from the 30 and when it goes equals to or less than 0 then this will go stop and also I can just uh, create an indicator in here that will show and how much time the um, food will be prepared 
I can say that your order will be prepared in so that's how I can show this and I can make it justify center so that it will look more appropriate and uh, now the next thing is giving it the delay function like one second similarly give the delay function to the second loop and now we can run our program we can set all of these things to zero whenever we run the program or we can just create so that's how it is working right now and uh, i think it is working properly and it is seven percent discount if it is not looking properly then i can just increase its size as well let's just say 36 and uh, make it uh, justify center so it is, will look more proper right now and uh, here if I run my program and then not confirmed and then press confirmed then this uh, countdown is just started that is just showing me your order will be prepared in 24 23 and so on seconds we can set the uh, lo uh, create local variables and set it outside of the loop as uh, false so that it will always show us that it will start from zero whenever we run the program create a local variable here create a local variable in here and create a local variable in here create uh, the local variable in here and the last and final one is the create and local variable of item number five so that it will always show us it will always start from zero connect the false condition with anyone else so this is just a simple exercise but this is giving a great idea that how we can create a one of very very powerful simulation in lab view so now again we will just start from very basic things zero and then just press and order the food and here it just says that 5% discount and if we increase 200 then it shows 7% discount and it is totally detected from the 7% discount is detected from the total and it is shown in, in here. So and not only that we must have to show this one as create a local variable and create a constant. We can also I think we just have to show this outside of the loop create a local variable and then create a constant zero so we can also suggest is uh, 30 seconds or whatsoever depending upon how much LEDs are selected and make an algorithm further on but this is just an initial thought food for thought that how we can make it we can also create uh, its um, uh, property nodes like this one create a property node that will allow us enable and disable and disappear and uh, visible where is it visible we can just select that change it to right and here I have I can just select as well when it should turn on and off create a constant it should turn on now and if i create a constant in here it should turn on now and in the case of this it should turn false and then in the case of this it should again turn on so now even if uh, right now the total bill is zero and no uh, discount is just shown so now you can just press and until um, the five percent discount is just appeared so right now that's how it works so we can extend its properties and whatsoever we want 
by just increasing its programming and uh, we can just make it even client and server based so that if you are going to somewhere and you can order it online and that will that hotel will get the uh, indication from here from our main vi that the place the food order that has been placed and we will get the order and will be prepared and according to the time that i've been shown and you can just go there and collect your food or you can just go and sit without wasting your time so that was the pretty much just a introduction or you can say that um, a food for thought how it can be done in lab view